So guys, for the first step, you wanna head over to search and then type in Task Manager. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you wanna make sure that Valorant and Riot Games Launcher are not running. If you see anything that says Valorant, Vanguard or Riot Games Launcher, you wanna right click on it and then click on End Task. Then you wanna head over to the Details tab and then do the same thing. If you see anything that says Valorant, Vanguard or Riot Games Launcher, you want to right click on it and then click on End Process Tree. For the next step, you want to head over to Search and then type in Display Settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down and you want to make sure that your scale and your display resolution are both set to the recommended options. And then you want to click on Graphics. Now once you're on this, you want to make sure that under Add an App, you have Desktop App selected. And then you want to click on Browse. And then you want to click on this PC. Now you want to find where you have Valorant installed. So for me, it's on my C drive. Scroll down. Program Files. Scroll down again. Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and then you want to find the Valorant164.exe file. You want to double click on it, which will then make it appear here. Then click on Options, click on High Performance, and then click on Save. Now for the next step, we're going to head over to Search, and then type in Check for Updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, we're going to click on Check for Updates, and do the updates that our computer may have. For the next step, you want to make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date. So I'm going to leave three links down below for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. So if me have an NVIDIA graphics card, and I've got GeForce Experience. Now once you're on your software, you want to click on the Drivers tab, and then you want to click on Check for Updates. Make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date. Now for the last step, you want to head over to Search, and then type in File Explorer. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on this PC. Then you want to find where you have Valorant installed again. So for me, it's on my C drive. Scroll down. Program Files, scroll down again, Riot Games, Valorant, Live, Shooter Game, Binaries, Win64, and then you want to find the Valorant EXE file again. You want to right click on it, and then click on Properties, and then click on the Compatibility tab, and then you want to tick Run this program in compatibility mode for Windows 8, disable full screen optimizations, and run this program as administrator, and then click on OK. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.